my commentary on the electoral proceedings encompasses a thorough and meticulous examination of the details. Now, APC claimed to have a solid structure, but when it became apparent that the election was not in their favor, what did they do? They resorted to their pre-election declaration of snatching and running away with ballot boxes with the use of violence and thuggery. Now, despite these actions, the vote for Peter Obi stood out distinctly. Moreover, numerous polling units lacked adequate representation from INEC officials. We were told that our PVC was our power, but we were lied to. Because the most egregious instance of maleficence occurred while men slept, as scheming and manipulative actors tampered with the results. After four years of ensuring free and fair elections, it is disappointing that this is what INEC has to offer. The mandate unequivocally belongs to Peter Obi, and anything short of that would be an obvious miscarriage of justice. Now, the point of delivering the most unwanted president in the history of Nigeria to its people has never been heard. Now, in the words of Shade, that what is a king without subjects? If history is well remembered, we should not be deceived by Peter Obi's genial disposition and calmness. For behind that charming veneer and calm-headedness is a determined and calculating man who will not be cheated of his rightful victory. Justice will remain completely blind and impartial regardless of any attempt to tip the scales. We eagerly await the outcome of the elections. I don't work out.